All right, Internet, you know you're crazy. So I think we might have resolved the audio issue we had before. I've got the entire signal chain, audio, video, everything going into HDMI. I've used XSplits, uh, audio settings. We shall take a look and read the correct thing. In XSplit, under audio settings, audio preview has Teradek Intel Display Audio selected. It shows up there because, again, we have a splitter that is dividing my external display, one side for the actual display, which all this is happening on for me, and the other side is going into the Teradek Video Pro. And at this point, I think it's safe to say that it's time to go to the phone. So let's see what we come up with. Opening video. Um, before I did this, I also made sure that the phone was connected to the Wi-Fi access point that's created by the Video Pro. Historically, so far, it's taken several seconds for the video to show up on the pick your video list. So it is not a surprise that it's sitting here for a minute. Here we go. This is the device we're looking for. We are connecting to the device. There's our preview. We're not seeing the right event listed. For us to broadcast to. For us to broadcast to. So we're going to go directly onto the video and select it. Let's see if that makes a difference. Still showing up a little differently. Okay, so this is something that I might have some questions on for the, the good people at Teradek. So we're noticing that on event it says testing webcam. That's an old event that's actually been deleted. And when I look at the uh, Teradek Video Pro display, the event that's selected is the correct one. Uh, an event that I just created a half hour ago or so called Video Pro from Signal to Live Fixed Audio? Question mark. Everything else looks right. So with this not giving me the correct information, and with me not having a clear way to select the correct event or to look at the available events. And stop using the phone. Dag, nab it. So go straight to the video. Let's see what happens. Start broadcast. Yes. Live. Okay, I'm sitting here looking in my live control room and it is clear to me that it is broadcasting. I'm looking at audio levels on my PC and it looks like the right thing is getting the signal. And I would also like to test system audio. I think that's about enough of that. So if it worked, we're happy. 
except that the phone app didn't exactly perform the way I expected it to perform. So that might require a conversation. With that, thank you and good day live stream. And this time it did complete the event and close out the event, so I didn't have to take the second step. All right. Hope that helps, guys. Good day.